Hey everyone, this is Chelsea. Some of you may remember that my cousin and I wrote a book together called Abaddon the Animal Kingdom. I just wanted to let you guys know that we updated the book a little bit. We updated the cover. So now the cover is this one. We also updated some of the pictures for each chapter. We didn't update all of them, but we updated some of them so that the pictures would uh, stick out more in the book and uh, look better. We wanted the book to look a little bit more um, professional. So uh, my cousin did this book in a program that he found that was similar to a Photoshop. So he basically hand drew all of the characters and then put it into this program and was able to edit it to make it look a little bit more professional and more uh, realistic looking. So we updated that a little bit and then we also added in a about the author's page which is in the back of the book here. We added in our picture and everything of us holding on to um, the book with the previous cover. So we updated those things and then just kind of like some other things we, we improved upon the spelling and grammar. Yeah, we also added our email because we have a joint email. We added that to the copyright page in case people wanted to ask us permission to use the book for anything. So we updated that as well. So that was just like a few updates that we made to the book, but we didn't change the story at all, obviously. So if you have the book already it isn't necessary to have the book with the updates if you already have the previous book already unless you want it then feel free to reorder it because it's available now on Amazon I do like the new cover that we have my only complaint is that it's still a little bit blurry um, and you really can't really tell that on camera but it is like still a tad bit blurry. We tried to fix that but I think that was just the fault of the printer. But overall it does look good and I like it. So now that I told you a little bit about the updating that Jamie and I did for our book. I'm going to go through and let you know how you can have your settings set up for Kindle so that when Kindle offers a free update for one of your Kindle books, uh, you, can, you can get it. Pretty much how the updates work for Kindle is uh, an author, if they recently submitted updates to their book, they can email Amazon and say, Hey, we want our customers to get a free update to our book through Kindle since we've updated our book. And then it's up to Amazon to either approve the update or not approve it. Pretty much the only time when they don't approve an update is if you haven't made that many significant changes where they don't think the customers really need an update like say if you just approved upon spelling and grammar and that's all you did uh, then they probably won't issue a free update to your previous customers because they don't think that you uh, did that much um, to update your book but they don't think that the updates really gonna matter to the previous customer but a lot of times they will issue one if you've done a lot of stuff. They might issue one for Jamie and I because we did update the cover, we did add an author's page, uh, we did fix the spelling and grammar. 
We did add an email to the copyright page and add when we filed our copyright and when it was completed. And so uh, for us, they probably will issue one. We haven't emailed them about getting our previous customers the free update yet, uh, but we will soon. We just wanted to let you guys know how to uh, get this update first if you are issued one. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, all you gotta do is sign into Amazon with your account. Go down to... Manage Content and Settings and click on it. Wait for the page to come up. And then you're going to see a list of your uh, books here that you have on your uh, for your Kindle app. And it's going to say your content, your devices, and settings. So you're going to click on settings. And then you're going to uh, go to automatic where it says you're going to keep scrolling here. Because you're going to start at the top of the page here. And you're going to keep scrolling down to where it says automatic book update. Um, and it's going to say... Opt in to receive new versions of your books when we have confirmed that improvements were made. In order to retain your notes, highlight, highlights, bookmarks, and furthest reading locations, ensure that your Kindle devices, reading apps, have the automatic backup or uh, whisper sync for books on uh, paper, right, white, white uh, or later devices setting is turned on. So down here where it says automatic book update, you're going to make sure that that's turned on. Uh, because if it's turned off and an update is issued, you won't get that update. Um, so you basically just want to make sure that this is switched to on. And if it is switched to on and Amazon approves uh, an update for somebody's Kindle book, then you'll receive it right away. Um, it usually takes between like, uh, I believe Amazon told us it takes between like 24 to 48 hours so you usually receive it within like two days um, at the latest um, basically I found out with one of the uh, updates that we did because I actually bought our book for uh, Kindle as well what I found out is you can't um, can't just buy the book again and then uh, it'll be updated and you'll have the updated version. You actually have to have Amazon issue the free update to you. You actually have to get it where Amazon issues the free update. Otherwise, you can't receive an update. You actually have to wait for, for Amazon to issue one. Because if they don't and you just like decide like, okay, since I see that the book is updated, I'm gonna like delete my book uh, from my library and I'm gonna re-download it and then I'll have the free update. That's not the case. Uh, you only get the free update when Amazon issues it for you. So you can't just go and re-download a book and get and hope to get the free updates. Um, I actually tried that and it didn't work so that's why I'm showing you guys like what you need to do in order to get that free update. 
because as I said, uh, if you have that option turned off, then you won't receive it. So it's very important to have that option turned on. But it's pretty simple to do as I uh, showed you, so you should be set. So, um, Jamie and I will probably email Amazon within the next couple weeks, uh, give you guys a while to make sure that you have that setting turned on so you do receive a free update if Amazon allows our previous customers to get a free update. Otherwise, if you have that option turned on and after a while, you don't receive a free update it's probably because Amazon denied our request for a free update to previous customers we'll let you know that on all of our uh, social media like our Facebook page our website and everything um, we'll keep you guys updated uh, so make sure you follow us on our uh, Facebook page and everything links will be down below guys I should also mention that this free update is only for previous customers. So if you're a new customer and you buy the book, uh, you'll automatically receive our updates anyway. So to our new customers, none of you have to worry about getting the free update because you'll automatically get it when you buy the book because the book is updated. So you'll receive the new updates no matter what so basically what i'm showing you now is just for our previous customers and how they can uh, opt in to see to receive the uh free update um too so thank you guys for tuning in and listening to my rambling and thank you for all the support again um from my channel i really appreciate it guys and thank you